Hello friends, this video on application of derivatives part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 21. Till now what we have seen is finding the slope at, we have to find uh, f dash x and then we have to find f dash x plus h, there is number just left to x and f dash x minus h, there is number just right to x and compare and that's a little tricky, a little not tricky, a little cumbersome, a lot of calculations involved. To make our life simple, we'll go for a second derivative test. Second derivative test will easily tell you whether it's a local maximum or minimum. So if f is a function defined in the interval l again, same thing with c is any number on this interval and f is twice differentiable. Please note, this condition has to be true. Then only we can apply this because if it is not twice, twice differentiable, will not be able to use second differentiable test. So the test says that if again c is a point and f dx x c is equal to 0, that means c is a critical point. c can be local maxima, c can be local minima or c can be point of inflection also. Correct? But we don't know. To find that, if we find f double dash c and if this is less than 0, my c is local maxima. Please note, it is less than 0, so it is maximum. It's other way around actually. Same case, if my f dash c is 0, I don't know it is local maxima or minima or point of inflection. What I do is I find f double dash c. If my f double dash c is greater than 0, then it is a local minimum. This test fails if f double dash c is 0. In this case, again we have to go back to the first derivative long test and then we have to find whether it is a local maximum or minimum. Correct? There we have to find f dash of c plus h f dash of c minus h where h is very no less number and then you to see the slope is changing which direction is changing and then we can find this local maximum or minimum but that's a cumbersome task so we found this second derivative test you just double differentiate if it is less than zero please note less than zero means maximum greater than zero minimum equal to zero that means the test is failing we have to go to the first derivative test Let's see how this is. Actually, I'll tell you graphically how when you say f double dash c is less than zero, it is maxima and f double dash c is greater than zero, it's minimum. Let's see how it is. Let's take this uh, graph and let's assume my function is something like this, right? But this is the maxima. So this is my fx graph. For this fx graph, since I have to find f double dash x, let me draw f dash x graph also for the same graph. Now if you see at this point my slope f dash x is 0, right? So this point f dash x will be 0. These points f dash x is negative. So these points my f dash x will be something like this, negatives, all negative values. The point before this, let's suppose this is the point c actually. Right, so point before C, my f dash x is positive, so all these guys will have some positive value. So it will have it will graph like this actually. It will be something like this. This is the graph of f dash x actually. If you, if you plot the values, you'll get the graph of f dash. If f x is equal to this, f dash x will be something like this. Now, what is the slope of this? Slope of this is nothing but f double dash x. If you see slope of this, this is negative slope, correct? Because this makes the angle is more than 90 and less than 180, correct? So what you can see is if with fx, I got f dash x and f dash x slope is nothing but negative. Why? Because for this graph, see for this graph, the slope is negative that is f double dash x is negative. Similarly, in this fashion, if I have a minima point like this, my graph is like this fx and c is the point of minima. For the same graph, if I draw f dash x at point c the slope is 0. If you go in this direction, if you take any values on this direction, the slope is positive. So my slope will be something like this positive. If I take values in this direction on the left, the slope is negative. Correct? Slope is negative, so this guy's slope is negative. So my f dash x will be something like this. Since my f dash 
So if my f dash x is like this, my f double dash x is nothing but slope of this graph f dash x. And if you see the slope of this is positive. So I can say that if my f double dash x is positive, it is minima. And if it is negative, it is maximum. That is how graphically you can prove this. See, just understand the concepts. Don't learn all this because if you understand the concepts, you will never forget it. Same thing here. If you have this graph like this, it's a maxima kind of graph. For this graph, I have to find f double dash x. So better find f dash x first. I plotted the f dash x kind of graph. Now if I see f double dash x is nothing but slope of this graph f dash x. And if you see it is negative. That means if f double dash x is negative, I am talking about the point of maxima. Similar for minima, if my f dash f, fx graph is like this, I have to find f double dash x. Before find f double dash x, the first thing is I have to find f dash x. I drew the graph of f dash x. And then f double dash x is nothing but slope of this graph. And that is positive. Let's take one example on this. We have to find the local maxima and minima of if any for these two functions using my second derivative test. So second derivative test is, it says that you have to find f double dash x. Correct. Since these are continuous function and this is an open interval actually, so I am concerned only about differentiable part fx, f dash x part. Non-differentiable part is not in this picture because it doesn't exist. So let me find for this first f dash x and there is nothing but 2x and let me find f double dash x and there is nothing but 2. If you see this guy is positive for any number that is it is greater than 0. So what I will get is minima. Okay, so if this f dash x is 0, I get x is 0. And f double dash x, that is f double dash 0 is nothing but 2, that is greater than 0. So it is minima, minima sorry, that is minima. So 0 is a point of minima. See what I have done here is, my fx is equal to x square, f dash x is equal to 2x, my f dash x has to be equal to 0 for a critical points that is 2x has to be equal to 0 or x is equal to 0 is my critical point. Now I have to find whether x is equal to 0 is maxima or minima or point of inflection. Right? Three possible cases. To find whether at x is equal to 0 it is maxima, minima or inflection I have to find f double dash x or f double dash 0 actually and f double dash 0 is nothing but 2 because f double dash x is 2 is independent of 0 and this guy is greater than 0. Since it is greater than 0, I can say that maxima. Sorry, it is minima. Correct? So one part is done. Similarly, next part. My gx is equal to x q minus 3x. I have to find the points, critical points. Let me find g dash x. That becomes 3x square minus 3. And I will make it as 0. Because I have to find critical points. So this means I get 3 into x square x plus 1 into x minus 1 is equal to 0. Or x is equal to 1 and minus 1 are my critical points. Now I have to find whether at these points the function is maxima or minima. So I will take 1 first. Right? x is equal to 1. x is equal to 1 you take. Let me find g dash double dash x first. g double dash is nothing but 3 into x square becomes 2x. 3 becomes 0, that is 6x. So g double dash of 1 will be 6 into 1, that is 6, and that is greater than 0. Since it is greater than 0, it is a point of minima. Similarly, when x is equal to minus 1, g double dash minus 1 will be nothing but 6 into minus 1 because 6x, and that is nothing but minus 6, that is less than 0. Since it is less than 0, x is equal to minus 1 is the point of maximum. Correct? So is this question solved now? No. Why? Because the question says find the local maxima and minima. 
they are not the question is not asking me to find the point of local maximum and minima the question is asking me to find the local maximum and minima so let's for this do this my point of local maxima is is minima is zero here actually so my local minima will be f of zero that is zero square that is zero so my local minima is zero in this case my point of local minima point of local minima is one i'll say point of minima is one so minimum value is how much g of one there is nothing but 1q minus 3 into 1 and that is minus 2 similarly point of maxima is equal to minus 1 correct so my maximum value will be nothing but g of minus 1 and that is nothing but xq minus 3x that is minus 1q minus 3 into minus 1 and there is nothing but minus 1 plus 3 and there is nothing but 2. So if you see point of minima is minus 2 and point of maxima is 2 and that is my value. Correct? So what we have done in this case first we found the critical points if you see here where it can be maximum or minima but now we are not sure whether this guy is a maximum or minima so we found g doubled as x and we found this, this guy is maxima and this guy is minima with on whether g double dash is greater than zero or less than zero if it is greater than zero it is minima less than zero maxima and then since the question asked me to find local maxima and minima i found the local maxima and local minima thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again